Hi friends, it's Sherry here, and that clip I just showed you was Jamin seeing me there, absolutely shook if to see me there for the second time at a Steed fan sign. And so this fan sign was on August 11th. I left Korea August 12th, and so that was the Saturday. I left Korea Saturday. The fan sign was on Friday. They announced it on the Tuesday. So I was just like, I don't know if I'll get into it, I, and then the timing, but I'm like... I have to try. We tried and we got in and I'm still shocked. I'm just usually not that lucky, but we got in and I'm just so happy. So I didn't, I, it, everything was so frantic that I don't really have a lot of like, uh, before footage. Everything is kind of just shot at the fan sign. But the day of the fan sign, the early morning, um, when I found out I got in, Rach, my friend, had messaged me before that being like, hey, if you get in, could you get UO a bubble gun for like uh, as a prop for like photos and videos and stuff? And I'm like, okay, I will go look for one. And I went to two like stationary bookstores and I didn't find one, but I finally did. And it was like huge. It was like one of the big bubble guns, but I'm like, okay, let's do this. And then I got batteries and I got like a little screwdriver because you have to unscrew the battery thing. And we put it in, and I'm just like, okay, got it. Also, my friend, um, Betty, also got into the fan sign. So it was just like, yes, I have someone to go with me. And she's, like, more experienced at going to fan signs than I am. So she had, like, I'm like, do you have post-its? Do you have, like, stuff I can write on? Because I don't, I didn't want to buy a whole pack of post-its and stuff. But she's like, yeah, I got you. I got you. So it was really nice. And we met up a little bit beforehand, got coffee, like, got something to drink, and then we went to the fan sign place, which was at a library. It was like, I, I guess it was a library. We didn't really have time to explore. We were running a little late because of traffic. It was raining all day. We got there. We got the fan sign. We got like the little number thingies. I was number eight this time. And that was interesting. So do I show you? Do I show you guys this first? But oh yeah, here's my little band. This time they gave us actual wristbands that they wrote the number on. So I was number eight. Betty was 24. We were a little bit apart. Eight was surprisingly a really good number for me because it was kind of like directly in the middle. It was second row, but it was directly in the middle. The difference between this venue though is there were no tables. It was just chairs and like a stage. So uh, my like my setup and I'll show you like a picture here it was just me holding my little uh phone stand on my knee <laughs> and trying to film everything so some of the footage is a little wonky because of that because it was just on my knee there was no table um of course the fan sites were more prepared they have like the full floor stands with their cameras but anyway let's get into the actual um fan sign itself so they came down the side and i think doa saw me first and if you hear the jingling it's just like it's this it's that so doa sees me first and i swear to god he turns to like look at jamin and just be like your fans here again because that man refuses to not clown me <laughs> and then jamin's like because i think he, he was expecting probably that i'd left korea already but he was like i they always look so shook if to see me there. And then they said, this time I was a lot less nervous, but I did feel like at some point I was going to cry because I was just feeling very emotional, just like, oh my god, I get the chance to see them again, and it's right before you have to leave, and you know, they're so good, I saw them once before, and now I get to see them again. That kind of feeling. So I feel like I was about to cry the whole damn time. Once I sat down, they were like a little, a little funny moments, I guess, is at one point Doha uh, said something about like, I, I think it was about like, like he ripped his shirt or he was just like after rehearsal that like, he ripped his shirt open. And I'm just like, qu kind of quietly just in the back being like, Hanbon don't like do it again. And I think he hears it. And he's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck did she say? And I'm like, why do you hear me? No, I, I did not shout it. It was like kind of like half under my breath, like ham bando. But yeah, he heard that. Ham <laughs> bando. 
before, like, Bao had, uh, whether we were posing for pictures and stuff, I was like, hey, Bao, want to do Kai Mai Ball Rock, Paper, Scissors? Because I did this with the rose before, so I just thought, like, you know, I can try this out here as well. So it was Kai Mai Ball. And I did a heart, and he was confused, and then he was just like, he ate it. I did it's so cute! Bao, Kai Mai Ball? Kai Mai Ball. <laughs> Another thing I managed to do was I was like waving at Jamin, like thinking like, oh, maybe he might see. And then he like, I think he saw me and then he started waving back. And then I just started to like doing like a heart, you know, and he just started like just doing a heart and then he just winks and I'm, I die. I just die. <laughs> So, Jamin was first one up, and I was not prepared for him to be first. Um, my main goal, right, was to kind of like show him the my tattoo I got of the my he wrote. Um, and I had everyone signed to Sherry this time instead of my government name so I could show, like, people on YouTube everything. I, I went in being like, okay, we are definitely making this part into a vlog, and I, I told some of the boys that, but get, I'll get into that later. So, Jamin, okay, and my question I wrote on the post-it was, like, basically, what is, what do you want to hear the most when you're having a hard time? And translated to Korean by my friend Betty, who was really, really helpful. And so this is the side page. So that, you know, <laughs> but he wrote um, on here that he wrote a whole bunch of stuff. But so when he's having a hard time, he wants to hear 잘하고 요. Which is like kind of, I think from how Betty explained it to me, it was like like what a lot of people would say. It's just like you are doing well, you know, you you're like already doing well, kind of when you're having like hard time, and people are just like it's okay, you're doing well. And then he also wrote Jaminy ga Chegoya, which is Jaminy, was a cute way of saying his name is the best. And then finally, <laughs> he wrote Cherry 사랑해 yo. Which is, Sherry, I love you. <laughs> oh, we can't wait. I need to calm down. All right, I pointed out how um, he was wearing like kind of like silver rings that were similar to my rings. I'm like, oh, I really like your rings. And he said, thank you. And we kind of like spent a little moment just like comparing our rings. I also had gone to the shiny fairy donut pop up and I got him a, a shiny t shirt in white and I got one in black so I told him that and the way his face like focused and lit up the moment I mentioned this shiny you, you'll see it in the video but I was just like aha you see like our mutual love of shiny that is that is our connection here and so he was like really happy to hear about that and it was just it was just so nice to get to talk to him again and you know I wish my Korean was better so I could like say more things but I, I, you know, I'm just happy enough to have this experience. So next up is Shun and his page. He didn't draw me a heart this time, but that's okay because his signature is cute. But his um, answer to the question, which I forgot exactly how to read this, but it's like hang 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 song ba. I I can't really like read written Korean that well, but it's basically like I will always be by oppa's side, um, which I think is really cute and also shows he probably has a lot of 
friends that are like younger than him because you know he like directly calls himself oppa here and i not like we didn't talk about my age so i don't think he was like referring for me to like 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 for sure that i would call him oppa but he just likes to hear people call him oppa or no i guess a lot of his fans are younger so he's more used to like hearing them call him oppa maybe but yeah like i will always be by oppa's side which is kind of cute um for Shin, like, he has such a calming, like, aura, but also his face is so handsome. He is so handsome in person. So, mm, I um, basically was just like, hi, and then I told him, like, oh, I'm leaving tomorrow, but I'm so happy that I got to come to this fan sign. And it was low-key, like, but then I was, like, high-key emotional, so I was just like, I'm just so happy to be here. And he's like, wow, yeah, cool. And then I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. And he's like, why? <laughs> he's like, what? But yeah, he was just like, why? And I'm like, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy, you know, like, I feel like, I, I feel like he's, like, so calming that I was sure he wasn't gonna, like, judge me. I was just like, I just want to cry, man. Like, it's so nice to be here. I'm, like, so happy I got this chance to be here again. And I don't remember, like, a lot of details, again, because I was so emotional, but at some point, um, I tried to say something, but my Korean was, like, getting all messed up, and I'm just like, I am sorry, my Korean is shit, it's terrible, and he's like, no, it's good, I'm like, but I wish it was better, and he's like, oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay, your Korean's good. Very, like, kind big brother type, I think, for sure. So, yeah, the clip. <laughs> up we have Yuo um and I only managed to have his signature because he signed a different place than where I put his tag I also just moved the, the tag but it was originally here and I think because of everything that happened he just got the wrong place he did try to tell me what it was and it was something about a checklist so I think um when he's having a hard time he likes to like write things out of like what's giving him a hard time in like a checklist and then sort of go through that and check with that but i can't tell you if that's a hundred percent correct of what he said because it was like very last minute of just like oh where's your where's your note where's the post-it where's the post and he's like what is it and i'm like um what would you like to hear when you have a hard time and it was very rushed um he saw me and immediately, immediately went hello rock star because he said my hair was like a rock star the last fan sign i'm like i am not a rock star not a rock star Neil. and then immediately i went to explaining that like oh yeah this bubble gun is for you to use my friend rach had me like bring it for you and if you don't mind just using it you know and he he picked it up he's like okay how do i do this and i duck the fuck out of there because one, I know like the fan sites will take really good pictures, so I'm trying to get it out of frame. I also don't want to accidentally catch a face full of bubbles. So I'm like, D I duck the fuck. And then he presses it once, it has the bubbles. He presses it again, thinking it's going to turn off. It doesn't. And he starts panicking, like, how do I turn it off? How do I turn this off? And I'm like, press it again, press it again. You have to press it three times for it to turn off. It's also a big bubble gun, so it's like unleashing bubble mayhem. And he is having the time of his life. He then asks, he's like, so sweet, so, so sweet. He's like, so like, you know, like, how is your friend going to see this? It's like someone taking a picture. And I like point back to my camera that's there. I'm like, yeah, we, we have a video. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. Like, the fact he wanted to make sure that the person who got him the gift that wasn't there, like, for sure that Rach was going to be able to see him using it is just so sweet of him. And I feel like most people might not even think about that. I'm just like, oh, oh no. He signed. So if you see, 
he signed like he made a little mistake because I think he was expecting to sign my longer government name and he's, he saw the the thing he's like oh wait shoot and then I explained like oh yeah that um is that was my real name and this is my YouTube name and I will be making a vlog of this in English for the um the English speaking fans and he's like oh wow that's really cool and I'm like I don't know why I said this to him specifically but I was like you guys have no English content <laughs> And he's just like, oh yeah, like we have some English speakers on staff. And I'm just like, but sir, like content. Because uh, to be fair, like she does not have a lot of, um, like they don't have a lot of their live streams saved. They don't really have a lot of get to know them content that uh, a lot of uh, newer groups would have, you know, like so, like a, the introduction kind of content with subtitles and stuff. So it's just like, guys, make more content. And he's like, okay, yeah, and then we, we like, we'll talk with the I think he, he was trying to explain how like they're working on stuff basically so fingers crossed we'll get some more content in the future and fingers crossed it will have like English subtitles if not that you know what that's fine but like I kind of want more content from them in general let's go to the clip <laughs> The question was, like, so the same thing um, as the first thing Jamin wrote, which is just, you've done well already. Like, you're doing well. You already are. You, you're doing good. You're doing good, basically, when he's having a hard time. He just wants people to tell him, like, no, you're doing good. Um, for Val, <laughs> it's okay, because, like, with Val, I'm just more, like, I don't know like casual I'm just like yo bo and he's like yo yo and then I asked him like oh, how are you and he's like I'm good he's so like cute um and then I said oh about when we did Kai Bible and I did this like I gave you the heart I, I won right and he's like yeah yeah you win I'm like <laughs> I win um, I told him I was leaving tomorrow and he was like oh no don't go oh my heart and then he he asked like, oh, when are you coming back? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't like, I I I don't make plans that far in advance. I don't know when I'm next going back to Korea. And that's why I said I don't know. And he's like, mm, don't go, you don't know, don't go. And I'm like, I have to go, I have to go. And I was like, I I said like, I will come back for your next comeback. Like, I, I hope, I really do hope, like you know, I get to see them like at another fan sign for the next comeback. And then I said, like, but that might be hard because, like, I really hope, like, you know, you guys might get, like, so big and famous that it would be hard to get into your fan signs. He was just like, like, yeah, like, like, all of us and then our fans, too, like, are hoping that, you know, we get, like, bigger and we get more famous. I'm like, you will. You will, baby boy. You will. I believe in you. And I did not call him baby boy. Like, just, just into his face. Like, no, no. But I was just like, I will. You will. You will. I believe in you. And he's just so sweet. 
they also explained to him that like oh yeah um this is my youtube name and then i will be making of uh english vlog for um english speaking fans and he was like wow that's really cool and then home like i also told him like you guys like you know have no english content and he, he, he also was just, like, he said something about, like, you know, their director, which I think, like, maybe, like, um, the company director or something, they have stuff planned. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to it, to whatever it is that they have planned, just, like, you know, hoping for more content from them so more fans will discover them and, you know, get to know them better. Um, and then as I was, like, you know, standing up to go talk so like next person doha he was just like you know be careful um because of the rain be careful traveling tomorrow and i'm like oh thank you bye 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 i don't want to leave <laughs> but yeah the clip <laughs> Last but not least, for sure, we have Dolpa, and that is his sign. He actually wrote his name out in English this time, which he didn't do before. And his answer to the question is Charja, which is like, like the equivalent of the like a uh, sleep well, good night kind of in Korean. And you know when he's having a hard time, he wants people to tell him like you know sleep well, Charja, like you know you've done good for the day, have a good sleep kind of thing, which is very heartwarming. He will never not pick on me. Well, I, and, I, and like, not pick on, call me out. He will never not call me out. Because before I even sit down, he goes, Hello, Jimin fan! And I'm like, ah, Yeah! As I sit down. And then I remember, like, oh shit, in Korean, um, if you say, like, yeah, to someone older than you, it's often, like, very impolite. Um, so I, then I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, Neo, yeah, Neo, just me not, just me not. Like, oh, like, I did not mean to say, yeah, like that in that way. I'm very sorry. And he's just, he starts laughing, just like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And he's like, your Korean's really good. Cause I think that is some, it's something you know if you speak Korean. Um, and then I'm just like, no, my Korean's not good. And he's like, yes, it is. And I'm like, no, I talk like eggy, I talk like a baby. And he's like, you are a baby though. Egg, yeah. And I'm like, no, I am not. I just get so flustered. I'm like, I'm not a baby. Because <laughs> I'm old now. But I, I think he says something along the lines of, like, no, compared to me, you're a baby. And I'm like, no, no. And he's just like, like, wait, like, are you, are you Nuna? Like, are you older than me? I'm like, no, 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 no. I am not your Nuna. I am not your Nuna. And then he says, Tonga, which is like, oh, are we the same age? I'm like, no, no, I'm 97. Like, I was born in 97. And he's like, see? You're a baby! I'm like, oh. So I said, like, oh, then can I call you, just call you Dua Oppa? Since, like, you know, like, I'm not Nuna, like, but you're my Oppa. And he's just like, yeah, of course you can. I'm like, ah. So now I call him Dua Oppa. Um, I don't do it a lot for, like, the videos when I'm speaking in English. But just, to, like, to clear it up, I call, like, uh, Taemin and, like, Bao and even Dua in the first, um, fan call, I call them, like, si at the end, like, in Korean, just because, like, I want to be polite, because I know my Korean's, like, not great, so I want to still be, manage to talk to them politely, but then when you call them, like, oppa and stuff, it's, like, it means, like, you're slightly closer, if that makes sense. Um, I'm, I'm not the person that should be, like, explaining Korean, because my Korean isn't great, but, um, that is, like, my understanding of it. Like, like, you know, like, respectful, like, you call them she, la da da she, but then, like, if you're slightly clo closer, you just directly can call them oppa, and stuff like that. So I'm like, I'll call you to oppa. Then asks me, oh, do you live in Korea? And I'm like, no, I leave tomorrow. And he's like, oh, you leave tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. And then... He asked me something, and I misinterpret it as, like, he asked me when I got there. And I'm like, oh, the first fan sign. He's like, no, 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 no. And I'm just like, oh, you mean when when am I coming back? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know. Why, why, why would I know? I do not have my life together to know that. And then he just goes, oh. 
And then I said to him, like, oh, your next comeback. Uh, I will try to be back. And then he, he said, oh, next comeback. And then he makes me pinky promise. He, like, sticks out like, 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 like that. And I'm like, okay, so I pinky promise. And we stamp on it and everything. So I have to be back their next comeback. Because also, Doa doesn't, Doa Oppa doesn't forget. You know what I mean? He will remember this and potentially hold a grudge if I do not fulfill my promise. So, so yeah, so we pinky promise on it. And then uh, I tell him a bunch of, like, stuff that's just like, um, I hope, you know, like, um, please do take care of yourself. Like, eat well, sleep well, you know. Because if my cream was better, I wanted to tell him, like, I know it's it, like, it's very hard being like a leader and you know you're doing so well the boys are doing so well so like you know stuff like that but all they end up being like sleep well eat well and then like you've worked so hard kind of thing and i i, I like he understood that he's just like oh thank you for that dope is just so sweet and he's always like super smiley and like he just always like feels like happy and i, I really do hope like he is always happy and the same for the rest of the boys that they're always happy but yeah, the clip before I start crying. Other people bought bubble guns for Jamin and Shun and they were playing with it at the end in their cat headphones. You know, just doing cat things, I suppose. Honestly, the main theme of the fan sign was just bubbles because by the end, there were just bubbles everywhere and they were having so much fun. <laughs> This video is so long and I don't know how to shorten it, so thank you very much if you managed to stay till the end. I just wanted to say I really love the voice so much. I had so much fun. They are all so sweet, so just amazing. So please um, go support Sheed. Go watch the Blue music video. Um, give the boys so much, so much, so much love. Um, I'm just going to end the video here with um, a final clip of them dancing a little bit to Blue. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.
you're not gonna be no one.